I'm up early in the morning, about to watch some horror stories. I hope it's not too late where you at. We're about to watch some creepy true stories from Nightmare Files. Make sure to subscribe to them, guys. Let's get into this reaction. A few years ago, me and my now ex voice. went on a weekend away together. Okay. We ended up staying now at the ends. Hilton Hotel, which was nice, and we had a really good time. The Hilton is pretty nice. But I'll stayed never forget the last night we stayed there. Okay. Throughout the trip, we kept seeing the same hotel worker. I mean, he did work there, but with it being sure. quite a large hotel with many staff, you think you wouldn't run into the same one over and over. It depends how big we're talking. He was. he was there when we ate. Sometimes the uh, he was there when we went to use the, the pool. desk attendant. You and know, every time I walked past him, he gave me the strangest look. All right. I remember on our last day there, creepy. I left attendant. our room to get some more ice, and guess who appeared as I was at the ice dispenser? You guessed it. Right. The same guy. He's kind of stalking you? I thought as we were leaving in the morning anyway, I tried to ease the unnecessary tension and smile at him, and I tried to make <laughs> small talk. Right. He just ignored me. He stared at me. Well, glared at me. Glared. Intensely watching me as I finished filling up my bucket. And as I left, I very stupidly said, well, bye then, and offered a half wave. This visibly angered him. He actually wow. started to grind his teeth. So I very briskly walked back to our room. Yeah. Once I was back, you just we very casually it? locked our door. Yeah. And I also put the chain on. You didn't report that dude, man. I know. <laughs> Nobody without a key card can get in. But I just felt a bit creeped out by these oh, guys. Oh, my God. But he can probably get a key card. I to my ex. If he works I just wanted there, us know? to enjoy our last night as we did. Sure. Well, up until about 3 a.m. anyway. Oh, no, man. We were cuddling in bed, trying to sleep. Right. We both shot up when we heard what sounded like the doorknob starting to jiggle. We both looked at each other, surprised. But I assured her someone probably just had the wrong room. Yeah, I was sure of that that's what you would assume, but it's still freaky out. Beep, and then the door unlocked. This is a horror story, though. Someone had a key. Yep. The door slowly the pushed open until it snagged on the chain. And upon realizing oh, this, thank goodness. the will-be intruder swiftly closed it. Thank goodness! We were both stunned, but I quickly snapped out of it, hoping that I could catch a glimpse of whoever it was. Yeah, it's that dude, you know. I ran to the peephole. You know it's that dude. peeked through it, just in time to see a hotel employee briskly walking away. Mm -hmm. I could only see the back of them. This is in the middle of I the night, exactly too. I know exactly who it was. I wanted to tell the desk what had just happened. You but need my to. ex had begged me just to stay in the room with her. No. And that she didn't want to leave the room. Just call. So I told her to come with me. Yeah. She didn't want to. No. So I just stayed in there with Man. her. Man. We tried to sleep, but couldn't. He's going to freak first somebody else morning. out. I did mention it as we left. And they said that they'll look into it, but I never heard anything. Uh. The Hilton is a nice hotel. And truthfully, I'd love to go back one day. Hopefully, I'll never see that creepy guy again. You know what, though? They don't. You never know who you are. This could happen anywhere. Like, people are crazy, man. <laughs> people are crazy. You hire a new employee. Hey, can you work these hours? Sure. Are you good with customers? Yeah, I had five customer service jobs. Okay, you can work for us. Next thing you know, freaktastic. My story name is two. Brandon. Oh. This story takes place when Mr. My X father Dreams or Mr. Scarecat or Scarecast is two. When he was six guest years narrators. old, he used to live in Northridge, California. More specifically, he lived in an apartment complex. All right. Just to give you an idea of the setting, he used to live by two apartment complexes. In between them, there was a small but decently sized and well put wooden playground area hmm. where kids could play. Yeah. Since my father had recently gotten a new tricycle, my grandmother told my father that he could ride his trike along the pathway there you go. that led behind the complexes into the playground. I never had a trike, but I had One a bike. One more thing before Fun I as a kid. There's a decently sized alleyway in between the complexes. And you could get a good view of the playground. Oh, I could feel a creep hiding there. While my dad was riding his tricycle, he stated that he heard a couple arguing. Sure. He quickly turned his head toward the alleyway. Mm -hmm. While my dad was figuring out what to do, silence came from the both of them as a middle-aged man yelled at them. Get out of here, you damn kids! <laughs> as soon as he said that, the couple started sprinting towards my father. Acting quick, my father quickly rode his tricycle as fast as his little legs could carry him. <laughs> my father stated that he vaguely heard the thundering sounds of a pair of footsteps. Wow. 
My father would never forget this memory. Yeah, my get father chased. took a glance at who was chasing him. And this is where my father saw the most sickening image he could picture. The man chasing him was a middle-aged man with long, oh wiry God, gray man. hair, a crazed look in his eyes, and grotesque teeth. That is a creepy but that's what my father image, was scared dude. of the most. He vaguely remembered the man was wielding some kind of blunt object in his hand. Was my he, father screamed as he peeled behind mitts? the complex and quickly rushed through his front door and locked it behind him. Crazy man my chasing a six-year-old on a tricycle? Whoever, she didn't call the police. Why? My father still doesn't know why my grandmother didn't call the cops. My this father rarely brings his story up saying that I was the third person to hear this from his end. Yeah. The only reason why I'm telling this story why wouldn't you report is that there like was that? a murder-suicide recently in Northridge. Oh, no. And one of the victims was one of his next-door neighbors. Oh. You see? Police are still investigating this incident. It's possible still if they would have reported connected. him. But I if that was connected, it would never happen happened. If that man had caught up to my dad. Because he would have been committed. You know what I mean? What kind of a lunatic chases a six-year-old on a tricycle with a weapon? You know? I live in a not-so-large and not-so-friendly block of apartments. Well, it's really more of a converted old Victorian house. Okay. Which is now modified into five small apartments per block. Pretty house. The main door is really crappy. It still hasn't been replaced, even though the entire building has been refurbished. Okay. This is the case despite the landlord promising it would be done by the new year. <laughs> anyway, Landlords, this door man. doesn't lock when you close it. It has to be locked manually, either by the key from the outside right. or by the twisty lock on the inside. Yeah, some Unfortunately, like that. people who live around me can be, well, let's say rude. And that's okay. pretty kindly. They're always blasting music until late, oh. setting off the fire alarm, which is linked in every apartment. Neighbors. They're super loud and annoying. Neighbors. But most annoyingly, always, and I mean always, people are leaving the main door unlocked. This was something more than I've annoyance. I've done it before. Up until very recently. When other people when live with you, though. something truly horrific happened to me. It was a Thursday like night, this, and as usual, rude. I was getting ready for bed at around 11 p.m. Right. And as usual, despite it being a weekday, one of the surrounding apartments is having a party. Again, Naturally. It's the weekday. And this was annoying because who throws a party on a Thursday? Right. When you I mean, gotta wake up to go to Friday. work in the morning or school. Not only that though, it's supposed to be a lockdown. So while other people can't see their own family, oh, yeah. me included, they bring you get to in keep everyone up. Stuff. The music was noticeable, right? but not super loud from the comfort of my bedroom, thankfully. So I do what I always do when I go to bed. Put your I put on, on some put scary sleep. stories. Oh, there you I go. I chill <laughs> and I try to go to sleep. Right. So I finally managed to drift off I don't want scare at around 12 o'clock. And I'm awakened head. for the first time at around 2 because of the music. I watch these in the morning. So I get up and I go to the bathroom as I thought I might as well since I'm already up. Yeah. So being annoyed and frustrated, I get back into bed and continue to enjoy my stories until I'm asleep. Mm -hmm. I'm suddenly awoken by loud stumps coming up the stairs. All right. I live at the very top of the building, so the final staircase only leads to my door. Got you. Now I'm more than exhausted. More exhausted than angry. <laughs> so I just lie there, sure. awake, until I hear something that jolts my half-asleep brain fully awake. My door being pushed open. Mm. Someone is actually trying to push open my door and enter my apartment without my permission. Right. Not hard or forcefully, mind you. Not like they were trying to Almost break like it. Almost like an accident? But they definitely were trying to gain entry. Okay. Now this may be because my mind was still foggy. Or that I was still so tired that I didn't care. But I just stupidly assumed that someone in a drunken stupor was trying to get into the wrong place. <laughs> yeah. It's Every happened party to me. was at a different top floor apartment, I thought. So I ignored it. Not me going Even when it happened again. Someone coming in my I could hear scratching and, and mumbling on the other side. Right. Stupid, Scratching. I know, but I really just wanted to go to sleep. So the next morning, so you didn't check? I woke up as normal and got ready for work as right. I opened my door to leave. And what do I see? Two men asleep on the floor, 
blocking my way. The One hell? of them bleeding from his head. Whoa! Now, I'm not judgmental. In front of your door? At least I try not to be. Right. But these men were clearly homeless. Right. I mean, the smell alone told me that. Okay. It was like having a ball of dirt slapped in your face. Not ideal for an early morning start. In front of your door. When I eventually got one of them to get up, the other failed to do so. Right. It was clearly on drugs. Okay. It was completely out of it. Thankfully for me, the man was okay. I mean, I could have been rushed or anything, but he explained to me that he had been attacked and chased. Oh my so they took God, shelter man. here. So I offered to call the ambulance. Yeah. Which the men eventually accepted through a one-sided conversation of murmurs and groans. Sure. <laughs> so I stepped out to get a better look at the man, yeah. the man on the ground. As I did so, the other man stepped inside of my apartment. Oh no. I just stared at him with our eyes locking. Like, are you he crazy? He reached in his pocket and I postured up ready to fight. He looked at the other man and he just shook his head as if he were saying no. And thankfully he just came back out without incident. And I locked my door. What a week. The ambulance eventually came. Yeah, I'd be I freaked out too. I informed my landlord too. of this. And he said that he would warn other people living there that they must keep the door locked. But of course, every morning I go to work, the door is wide open. Yeah, no and how about you fix the door too? But the real kicker is, because that guy was bleeding and was homeless, I didn't want to clean it myself. I well, had no. to get professional cleaners to do so. Right. And when I asked for my landlord to chip in, he just ignored me for days. And when he eventually got back to me, he said it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> so I ended up paying for the whole thing myself. Wow. Because I just didn't feel comfortable with that being around me. Time to find some now, I don't believe place those men had intentions to hurt me. Somewhere else. But what if I didn't lock my door? Right. What if they had gotten in? When people are desperate and opportunities present themselves, you really don't know what people would do. That's exactly Who how I feel one of too. Me? asleep and alone pretty scary when you think about desperate it. desperate right? people man you never you can't predict what they'll do you know it depends how hard up they are it's crazy man story four final story sleep paralysis oh god i hate it this happened during the summer of 2019 okay my health was deteriorating at the time mostly due to struggles with mental health. All right. I was going through mental and emotional breakdowns, even having nightmares. That's rough. Man. All that stress made for an extremely rough spring semester in college. Mm. I put a lot of stress on myself trying to improve my grades. Sure. I also have borderline personality disorder and depression. Okay. Which really sucks. Yeah. My best friend was there for me throughout all my problems. That's good. I was happy he was there, but I felt bad since he had a lot on his plate at the time as well. I mean, one Friday night, burning people sucks, but sometimes stressed out than usual. you need help, you know. I had been out looking for a job to keep myself busy during the summer. Sure. The day was full of one rejection after another, so I was feeling really down in general. I just kind of wanted it's the hard, day man. to be over already, so right. I decided to go to bed early. Sometimes you just need to reset. Around 5 a.m. in the morning. Try again tomorrow. I suddenly woke up. The first thing I noticed was that I couldn't move my body at all. Okay. I was scared. So shitless. sleep paralysis. I tried calling for my younger brother to help, but I couldn't get a word out. Out of nowhere, in a dark corner of my room, saw I a shadow I saw person. Something, an outline. As I stared Typically into the black sleep spot, paralysis sometimes I you see it was a cat. things. Mind you, like I have no pets in visions. my home. So it was already a bit disturbing Some to see. Think it's paranormal, As my vision became clearer, or even alien the abductions. shape I was staring at became more defined. What I saw was the shadowy form of a humanoid hand coming toward me. Oh my God, I was man. petrified. I but no matter how hard I tried, no matter how desperately I wanted to, I could not scream. The dark hand floated closer Sleep and grabbed my you ankle. Can't do anything. Somehow. Whatever was stopping me from crying out released its grip on my lungs. I screamed like a banshee. As my voice rang out, Finally the hand up. suddenly faded away. I know the scream was real because it woke my younger brother mm -hmm. up. I went back to sleep for a few hours until my alarm went off. I wake myself Around 9 a.m., my brother came into my room. From, I asked him if he'd sleep. heard me screaming earlier, and he said he had. I apologized, feeling a bit guilty. Sure. I went to my best friend's house later on and explained what happened. He told me the stress and depression was probably causing me to suffer sleep paralysis. Mm -hmm. 
From that day on, he always checked in on me to make sure I wasn't having any That's nightmares good or that night he terrors. Care you like that, but... I don't think I'll ever forget that experience. Right. It was my first time dealing with sleep paralysis. It's the situation was so scary that it took me a while it, before I could sleep on my own cow, again. It's bad. I still have the lingering fear that one day, it might happen again. Yeah. Oddly enough, a week after that experience, I suffered a heart attack. Which is kind of strange for a 21-year-old woman. Wow. Thankfully, though, I'm now healthy and doing much better than before. That's anyway, good. Anyway, I hope Stress, that whoever you man. are, It'll kill you never have to live through something so terrifying as that. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Of course not. So, I've had issues with sleep before. Long years ago when I was young, around the college time, uh, I would get uh, some cases of sleep paralysis. And... I, I never got it after those years like it it didn't happen often but it did happen somewhat and it was probably just because of stress in general but uh there's a lot of there's a lot of things that go into that like your cortisol levels are up because of stress and it can do some very very bad things to your health like this heart attack for a young person you know it's possible i now i don't get sleep paralysis but every once in a while i still get bad night terrors not if anything weird just like you know almost being murdered and stuff like that um or getting in fights and i don't scream loud but i'll like muffled yells at night that'll wake my wife up and that she'll know that i'm having a nightmare like no no you know like it <laughs> weird she said that it's it's horrifying to to hear me like that because she knows like she can tell from the sounds that i'm making that I'm very, very scared in my dreams. It's it's crazy, man. It happens, it happens more often than not, too. <laughs> very, very regular, I should say. Maybe it's because I watch all this horror content, but I'll try to watch it in the morning and and not really think about it before I go to sleep. But you never know. Sometimes you ends up end up in a black hole on YouTube, you know? The dark, dark video string that you keep watching different videos. Anyway, Nightmare Files, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to subscribe to him as well as a couple other reaction videos that I've done. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off. We'll see you next time.